Well, a good Saturday afternoon to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home of the sticks. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday and I hope everybody's having a good weekend. But over here in East Central Mississippi, I'm here to tell you it's shown sure enough hot. Over 100 today. And the humidity is like really up. Before we get started on today's video, I'm always going to say that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is reckon I've been doing a lot of updates, so I guess I'm finna update y'all on what's going on over here at the Home of the Sticks. Give me a second, that's what we finna do's. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take us a little stroll up here to the barn, I'm here to tell you. I don't know about y'all, but Lord of mercy, I, I get to the point where I see things and I'm like, you know what, I just need to get up there and do it. Angel and my boy was like, Dan, you need to hold off on that because it's just way too hot, which it is. But then again, I gotta be able to get out there with the tractor. So yeah, let me show you this. All right, look at there. Uh, I got out here, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe. But I went ahead and got that hay loft down on the barn. And there's all the wood. And that right there was a little bit of work. It took me probably uh, a good three or four hours doing this by myself. But I got it all down. Look at old Trey, he's happy because he can walk over here to the gate and say hello. Yeah, come on over here, Trey. What are you doing, you gonna say hi? Huh? You gonna tell everybody hi? I got the hayloft down off of the barn. Uh, I'm glad I did because I really need to, it showed me that I really need to get out here and get to working on this barn. I'm probably, uh, those four by fours have to be a good uh, 20, 25 foot tall. I'm probably gonna cut them and build me a lean-to in that open section and just come this way with a lean-to and just have it high enough where I can get underneath there with my tractor. Maybe down the road I may get a bigger tractor, so I just need me to leave, I just need to leave me enough space where I could actually get uh, underneath the barn. So big, big thing that I did uh, last week. Yeah, update on what I did. Um, this is probably going to be a short video. <clears throat> it looks like it is fixing to rain again. I did that. I actually worked on that because I need to get out there and do some bush hogging. That there is another story, I'm just here to tell you. But we finna go over to the shop and I'm gonna show you something else that I done did. Uh, actually, I think it was yesterday. So yeah, we'll go check that out. All right, so my never ending quest of gathering firewood over here for the home in the sticks. Uh, you and y'all know my main source of heat here in the shop is a wood burning heater. A uh, good buddy of mine called me up. He was like, Dan, I got some wood for you. All you need to do is come and get it. Uh, the dealio behind that is his daughter and son-in-law are actually building a house uh, near his property. And they are using a wood mill to uh, create all the boards and mill out all the boards that they're going to use in their house. So he's got a bunch of tops that he gave me. Check this out. That's a trailer load slap full of uh, oak, and I think they got some gum in there. Look at the size of that. That's, uh, I don't know, three or four inches, five inches, and it's, uh, I don't know, a good 20 foot long. Look there, I got a whole bunch of it. So what I'm gonna do with this is, I'm actually gonna cut uh, these pieces like this, these big thick pieces of oak and gum. I'm gonna cut them into manageable pieces, probably about 16, 17 inches. And I'm gonna split them jokers right down the middle. And you wanna talk about some fine firewood. I'm gonna let it season out. I may use this next year. I don't know, we just have to see how the weather plays out. But I'm here to tell you, this is some good firewood. Uh, you and y'all, you and y'all that may have a wood burner or like to, you know, you have a fireplace in your, in, at your house or your homestead. Uh, y'all know that oak burns really, really hot. So this is gonna make for a good fire. I'm here to tell you. All right. Again, this is going to be a short video because it is showing enough hot out here. I'm here to tell you. Finna get off into this shop, suck up some uh, some cool air, and I may even drink me uh, one of them blue cans. I don't know. So again, 
I hope everybody's having a good Saturday, and I hope everybody stays safe this weekend amid this crisis that is still going on. If you uh, like this video, go and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home Mistakes channel, Lord of mercy. Y'all need to come on over here and give old Dan a look, because I'm always doing stuff. With that being said, you know it's coming down. Reference show enough, I always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You show sure enough to get your shine on, it sure is important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.